Welcome. Let's look at how to do surface marking of the hat. This will enable us to be able to establish the configuration of the hat in the chest region without dissecting. So the fundamentals for us to be able to do surface marking of the hat, we need to know how to establish the numbering of the intercostal spaces. This we've done on our lecture on the intercostal spaces. If you've not checked that lecture, or please kindly go and do so. So for us to number the intercostal spaces, we we of course need to know how to number the ribs. We know that the ribs, the first rib is located in this region and this is highlighted in white. If you go to the first rib, we have the second rib just around the region where we have the mandibular joint or the sternal angle of Louis. And this is the second rib. We have the third rib, we have the fourth rib, the fifth rib and the sixth rib. The coastal cartilages are anterior extensions of the ribs. So they are seen in the anterior part of the ribs before the ribs are connected to the sternum. So this is where we have the coastal cartilages. And the coastal cartilages are anterior extensions of the ribs. So you see them in the anterior part of the ribs before they are finally connected to the sternum. So this is where you have the coastal cartilages in the anterior part. And their numbering is corresponding to the numbering of the ribs. So if this is the first rib, this is going to be the first coastal cartilage. If this is the second rib, this is going to be the second coastal cartilage. The third rib, the third coastal cartilage, and that is how it goes down. So we should be able to establish this numbering. We know that the intercostal spaces are located between the ribs and the adjacent coastal cartilages. So the spaces that are seen between the ribs and the adjacent coastal cartilages are called the intercostal spaces. Also for us to establish the numbering of the intercostal spaces as a format by which this is done, we already know that this is the first rib, this is the second rib. And between this space is where we have the first intercostal space, and this is highlighted in yellow. This is first intercostal space because above this space is where we have the first rib. So the intercostal spaces are numbered based on the numbering of the ribs that is seen above it. So inferior to this, we have the second intercostal space. And this will be second intercostal space because the rib that is seen above this second intercostal space is the second rib. So, and that is how the numbering is done for intercostal spaces. We have the third intercostal space, the fourth intercostal space, the fifth, and that is how they go on as they go inferiorly. So we say that the intercostal Coastal spaces are numbered based on the ribs that is located above it. Also, we need to be able to establish the apex and also the four borders of the art. This is what is going to be used to do the surface marking of the art. So these two that I have highlighted will be used to establish the surface marking of the heart. So let's drive in to see how this will be used to do surface marking of the heart. For the apex, we know that the apex is formed mainly by the left ventricle. And of course, it is directed towards the left left side of the thoracic cavity. So we should know that the marking of the apex of the heart will be around the left region of the thoracic cavity. And this is marked around the left fifth intercostal space. We already established how the intercostal spaces are numbered. The fifth intercostal space will be between the fifth and the sixth rib and also the corresponding coastal cartilages. So this is the fifth intercostal space. And of course, to the left, because we said that the apex is directed to the left because it is formed mainly by the left ventricle. So around this region is where we have the apex of the heart. And this is the apex of the heart around the fifth intercostal space. And measuring this region from the midline is about 9 cm. Or you can say from the mid clavicular plane, this is the clavicle up here and the middle of the clavicle is traced down and this also corresponds to where the apex of the heart is being marked. I would say that 9 cm from the midline. This is the midline, that is the median plane. So 9 cm from this region to the fifth left intercostal space is where the apex of the heart is marked. So going further, we look at the superior border. The superior border of the heart is formed by the atria, that's the left and the right atria, and also the emergence of the great vessels, which include the iota and also the pulmonary artery. So that is what is seen at the superior border. But as the superior border of the heart marked, we already know where the coastal cartilages are located. They are the anterior extensions of the ribs. And this is the first rib and the first coastal cartilage. This is the second rib and the second coastal cartilage. So the second coastal cartilage on the left is where we have 
the superior border towards the left side and this runs to the right side but now ends on the third coastal cartilage and this is what is seen in this presentation that is highlighted in yellow so this is where the superior border of the heart is being marked from the second coastal cartilage in the left region to the third coastal cartilage in the right region and this is marked on both sides 1.3 cm from the standard hedge so this is the standard hedge that is the lateral border of the sternum from this region is 1.3 cm to where the superior border of the heart is marked and also on the right side is 1.3 cm from the standard edge to where the superior border of the heart is marked on the right side so that is how we the superior border of the heart being marked so going further we have the right border we know that the right border of the heart is formed mainly by the right atrium and of course this is marked from the right third to the right sixth coastal cartilages so this is the third coastal cartilage as we've established where we try to do the surface marking of the superior border of the heart. So this is the third coastal cartilage, and it will extend from here to the sixth coastal cartilage. And if you try to measure it from the standard head, it's also about 1.3 cm from the standard head. So it runs superiorly 1.3 from the standard head, and inferiorly also 1.3 cm from the standard head. So that is how the right border of the heart is being marked. You can see that we are gradually doing the surface marking of the heart using the borders and also the apex. Then the next border we go to is the left border. The left border of the heart is formed mainly by the left ventricle and also a region of the left atrium. So to surface mark this region, it will run from the second coastal cartilage on the left. We already know that the superior border on the left begins from the second coastal cartilage and that is why the left border will we originate from and this will descend down to the apex so we have from the second coastal cartilage on the left to the apex and this forms the left border of the heart and of course this is also 1.3 cm from the standard edge so it begins from this region from the second coastal cartilage from the left connected to where we have the marking of the apex of the heart we are almost completing the surface marking of the heart. The remaining border that is left is the inferior border. And the inferior border of the heart, we know that it's formed by the right and the left ventricles. And this is marked from the sixth right coastal cartilage. And because this is where the right border ends from, this is the sixth coastal cartilage on the right. And of course, it will run and be connected to the apex. This is also 1.3 cm from the standard head. So from this region, it's also 1.3 cm from the standard head. And it's originate from the cyst right coastal cartilage and, of course, runs to be connected to the apex. You can see that we have completely marked the heart. So this is how the surface marking of the heart is being done. So let's look at this clinical application. The knowledge of surface marking of the heart is important in diagnosing heart diseases and also establishing that the heart is enlarged. And this is done when the stethoscope is placed on the chest region and sounds that are supposed to be heard from specific region of the heart are not felt. This will mean that there's a form of displacement or enlargement or even heart disease condition. Also, for radiographers, the knowledge of surface marking of the heart is also important so that the exact art topography can be established for correct evaluations of x-ray. So thanks for watching. Let's meet again.